It's going to be theta divided by 2, or 22.5 degrees, be located in. 1, 2, 3, or 4. It's in the first quadrant, right? And what do we love about the first quadrant? Everything is positive. positive. So when we do the sine of 2 theta, we're going to use the positive radical. Okay? So you don't need plus or minus. Don't need to even put the plus there. You just know it's going to be positive. So the formula for the cosine is cosine of theta divided by 2. So now, the problem is we've got to figure out what theta is. Theta divided by 2 is 22.5 degrees. So therefore, if we need to solve for theta, we need to get rid of that 2. So we multiply by 2 on both sides. And therefore, we can say theta is now equal to 22.5 times 2 is 45 degrees. Yes? Will that ever not add up to like, I already got this, but like? Like 47 degrees? Yeah, but then we'd have to find the cosine of 47 degrees, which we don't have, which we wouldn't be able to do. So yeah, it wouldn't work that way. Um, so now we have this as one minus the cosine of 45 degrees all over two. And now, guys, can we evaluate the cosine of 45 degrees? Right? Yeah. So this becomes one minus um, two. Oh, I'm sorry. Square root of 2 over 2 divided by 2. And what do you know? Under the radical, we have a lovely, what kind of fraction? Complex, Complex fraction, yes. Benjamin. So when you multiply a half, wait, it's a half fraction, or a half, whatever, the half angle times the two on both sides, wouldn't you do that to work with the radical? Or no, I'm just trying to find theta. We know theta divided by 2 is 22.5 degrees. Okay. So. Theta is 45 degrees. But when I'm saying you multiply it times 2 on both sides, wouldn't that apply to? We're not doing the problem. And this is not in the format. This is like a completely separate problem. This is just doing the work up here. I'm not multiplying by 2 inside. There's no radical there. Okay. OK. So I'm just trying to figure out what theta is. And you'll see when we do the next problem, like we'll immediately go from there. So if you guys remember complex fractions, we have fractions within fractions. So let's get rid of all these extra fractions. So I'll multiply by 2 on the top and bottom. When doing that, please make sure you apply distributive property. A lot of people forget this. So therefore, I get 2 minus the square root of 2 over 4. Now, do you guys remember those rules of radicals from last class period? Can I break this up into the square root of 2 minus square root of 2 all over the square root of 4? OK, is that OK? Is that allowed? Can you break that up? Yeah, of course you can. And so therefore, I'm left with 2 minus square root of 2 divided by 2. Now you can see the answer written like this. Also, it's very common for multiple choice problems to be written as, as multiplication. Written like that. Either one of those are correct. Um, they're the same thing. They're just written in different ways. Yes? 2 minus, no, because the two when you multiply this 2 times both terms, 2, and then the 2's divide out, because this is 2 over 1. Because what I did, I just did, I multiplied the, I made the 1, 2 over 2, so what I got is 2 minus square root of 2 over 2, and then I divided that. Yeah, if you, so it would be 2 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 divided by 2. So that's still 2 minus square root of 2 over 2. So when you multiply the top and the bottom by 2, you get 2, two minus square root of Yeah. Instead of dividing by 2, you could write it, rewrite it as a multiplication of 1 half. A lot of multiple choice questions look like this. There, it, I'm saying, if you leave your answer like that, it's fine. I'm just saying you might see it as a multiple choice question like this. But where did you get the division by 2? What do you mean? Dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. No, I'm aware, but like, go back to the left. Where so go. here is your rat. So you're, are you OK with this from here to here? But OK, so what I, like, what I was, the way I did it was to the left like, of the equation. You, the 2's canceled out, so where'd you get the other 2 from? You've got to multiply the 2 on the top and the bottom. You just can't multiply a fraction by a 2 on the top. So that's equal. 2 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1 minus square root of 2. No, you can't. Well, you just you just divided out those twos. No, what, on the top uh, under the radical, like yeah, that part. I just changed the one.
1 to 2 over 2, which is the exact same thing. Right. So then it would be 2 minus square root of 2 over 2. Divided by 2. Exactly. So then I, mul I did... Multiply by the reciprocal. Oh, okay. Never mind. I see what I did. <laughs> No, I mean, the, the algebra gets confusing. Yeah, if you multiply by the reciprocal, you're, you would still get the, um, you could still go ahead and multiply reciprocal, but um, yeah, I just, I multiply but that one simplified, yeah. That gave you still one fourth. That one divide out. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. How do you have a radical What do you mean? Like you have, like, the square the Is this OK? Can you have a power within a power? Just remember, radicals are powers, right? This is the same thing as 2 minus 2 to the 1 half raised to the 1 half, right? Same thing. So just think, it like, think of radicals as powers. They're rational powers. That's all they are, OK? All right. Um, now let's go and take a look at a tangent problem, and then I'll